Winter is edging into Wales and although we've had no icy weather yet, it is starting to feel a bit cold. So this week I thought it would be cool to make a wintry themed doll. If you've just found me, welcome. My name's Jo and I make butter knife textile dolls here on my boat. I'm making an 8 inch bead jointed textile art doll. I'm using some plain white cotton fabric for the body of the doll with some teal stripes for the legs and upper arms. I use my own templates for all of my dolls. The pieces are marked out in pencil and machine sewn. I cut around all of the seams with pinking shears. As usual, I'm using kapok fibre to stuff all the pieces. I'm jointing the limbs with antique silver effect metal beads. The wrists and hips are simple hinge joints. This method gives me the movement I need at the moment. The head will be fixed in place. I'd love to make a doll with a movable button jointed head, but haven't been 100% happy with my attempt so far. That's something I'm working on. I'm using acrylics to paint some chunky lace up boots. I've mixed an earthy brown shade and added a little bit of fabric medium. I'll fix this with a hairdryer to make sure that it lasts well. chosen some mottled dark brown buttons for the eyes. I always use four hole buttons as I like the way the crossed thread looks. The shading round the eyes is done with Derwent Colour Soft pencils. I blend the coloured pencil with a blending pencil and set with pastel fixative. For the eyeliner detail I'm using Derwent Line Maker ink pens. I love this quilting cotton in earthy tones with a tiny star print and teal blue highlights. I'm teaming this with some vintage look lace 
and teal satin ribbon. I decided to make her a faux fur wrap from some brown teddy bear fabric. I'm hemming the edges with some super thick tacky glue. This will give it a nice neat finish. I'll line the wrap later with some contrasting felt. This acrylic boucle yarn is perfect for a hair. The colours might not come across very well, but it's a beautiful mix of teal, blue and brown. It has some cotton threads running through it, so I need to remove these before felting it in. You might notice I'm wearing a plaster on my thumb at this point. This is due to me catching myself on the scissors as I was cutting the yarn to size. Be careful with sharp scissors folks, especially if you're clumsy like me. As always, I'll put some links in the description to some of the materials and tools I use that you might find useful too. If you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more. And she's ready. I've added some pretty metal beads to her hair and to the front of the wrap and given her some beady jewellery made from glass and metal beads. I've chosen the name Erica Riverwood. Some of my dolls can go very quickly but if she's still available when this video goes out I'll put a link down in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!